What is going on gamers? My name is Vix and uh, my mom's car was stolen. Now, I live in, I'm, I don't know how to say this, but we moved from a very, very disturbing neighborhood to a very nice and posh neighborhood with loads of nice uh, British white folk who drink tea and biscuits and uh, are, are really posh and it's a really nice neighborhood. So we moved there, right? And uh, one day, we've been living into this house for around, what, four or five years? So one day, my mum wakes up and uh, she she goes to work, right? She works at a school. She's a teacher. Uh, don't ask me any more questions about my mum because I'm not going to tell you. She's my mum. Just forget it. But me and my mum have this on and off relationship. Now, what happens is my mum, right, she, she would do... <laughs> She loves like the house clean. She likes the house clean, and I understand, right? I don't like messing the house except for my room, which is always messy because it's a guy's room, right? I'm 17 years old. I've got shit to do, and I can't be us, you know, cleaning my room up. But apart from that, my mum loves to leave the house clean. So she's given me a little bit of freedom in my own room. I can do whatever the hell I want in my room. So uh, that's pretty good. But my mum loves clean stuff. So what she does is, right? She works. She, she if she's doing the vacuum or if she starts cleaning the windows or whatever she's doing, if she does that, and usually this happens on. Sunday she uh, will um, because Sunday's our cleaning day and everything just goes wrong on a Sunday I don't know why it just fucks over so bad and I feel like killing people on Sunday but what are you gonna do it's a day of the week you can't change it but my mum would do work and I don't know if this is the same for every single mum but once she's done the work or she's in the process of doing work you know because after you do work you get tired and stuff during that process my mum will absolutely go berserk anything if you do anything wrong I swear to god if you just walk through the room she will scream at you and uh, I don't, I don't know what to do because she's pissed off. I understand this now. I've, I've lived with her for 17 years, so I understand that you should not disturb a woman while she's cleaning, after cleaning, until she's rested up again. And especially my mom, my mom, I swear to God, will hit you with a rolling pin if you just do anything wrong while she's done cleaning. She gets pissed off really, really well. It's cleaning, and uh, when she's tired after work, or when she's. Um, got off the treadmill or cross trainer because we've got some uh, working equipment in our house and if she goes on either one of them and uh, she comes off tired she will start on you on the most ridiculous of things and just because she's tired she'll have a go at someone and it'll piss you off so on a Sunday this exact same thing happened and she had a go at me so I was pissed off and I answered my mum back that's another thing that my mum pays I cannot answer her back you know if she asks me a question I'm, I'm just going to stay quiet and then she asks me why I'm staying quiet and I'm saying you told me not to answer you back so you answer me back eh and I'm like mum you told me to do that and uh, it's so so stupid I, I don't understand my mum ah but anyway so I was pissed off at my mum so I went to bed and Sunday and Monday I have to go to college in the morning so my mum uh, she gets up early right she gets up around 7 a.m. to get dressed for work get ready for work uh, make my brother breakfast the whole jazz the whole nine and uh, she uh, it was cold right it was uh, I think it was December time and uh, it's England right so it freezes and uh, there's frost everywhere so uh, in England uh, there was frost on the car and uh, what my mum decided to do she decided to which was totally stupid, right? So she decides to go to the car, turns it on, and uh, since we've been living in the neighborhood for four or five years, she decides to leave the keys in the fucking car and uh, just closes the door and comes back inside the house. And uh, no, she was not stupid. She's not a total idiot. She only did that because she wanted to get the car heated up. But uh, hey, what are you going to do? And she came back out straight away. So uh, my mom started making my brother breakfast. And my brother's only eight years old, so he can't make his breakfast himself. And uh, well, he can, but he's just lazy and he's in the morning. So blah, blah, blah. But anyway, uh, my mom makes my brother breakfast and uh, she came back in. And then we just hear a knock on the door and it's... Bearing in mind it's like 8 o'clock now and uh, no one knocks on the door at 8 o'clock, especially in our neighborhood. So if someone knocks on the door and my mum opens and there's this woman outside and she's like, hi. And uh, the woman says, I think your car's been stolen. That was my mum's reaction. She just stood there quiet. Then she kind of, you know, peeked over the head of the woman and uh, just looked and there was no car there. And by the way, if you're wondering what car my mum drives, I don't really know at the time what it was. It was a Mercedes. Uh, I can't remember what else it was. It was a Mercedes, but it was a two-door Mercedes, and I just can't remember what else it was. She wasn't rich. It was, it was just a shit car anyway, because I didn't like it. It was too small. I, I, I'm not a big fan of sports cars. I'm more into luxury -less cars, I guess. But anyway, so the woman comes and she says, your car's been stolen. And then my mum's just... Yep, the awkward silence. That's what she was doing. She just, she just stood there for a while just to let it sink in. And once it sunk in, she was like, okay, tell me the story. What happened? So she said... Two guys in a golf 
got your, uh, just were, you know, checking out the neighborhood and uh, they got to your car and they saw that the keys were inside and they just took off with it. And my mum was just dumbfounded, astounded, and just, she didn't speak. And uh, then she decided to ring the police up. She phoned the police and everything. And then she called me. She was like, Vix! And I'm like, yes, mum, what do you want with me now? And I was still pissed off with yesterday and she knew I was. She was like, my car's been stolen. And my instant reaction when she said this, I laughed out loud so hard. I was just, uh, my ribs started hurting because I got a stitch in my ribs after laughing so loud. And I, I, I really, really wanted to say to my mum, serves you right, serves you right. But I didn't. And uh, my mum started asking, my mum, you know, she was laughing when she said my car's been stolen. And when I started laughing and she knew I was trying to take the mick out of her, she got the most serious face ever. And she said, I will stab you with the sword in your room if you don't stop laughing now. So I was like, okay, what happened? And I tried to, you know, comfort my mum, tell her, okay, everything's going to be okay. And uh, we, we had a little bit of a laugh about it. And we tried to, you know, uh, sort it out. So that was the story, guys. My mum's car was stolen. Now, my cousins came over the day. And uh, my cousins, you know, we, we live close together. Um, I think it's like a five, six minute walk. So they came over and they started saying, so uh, tell us the story. So my mum told my story to my cousins. And this is the one thing that pissed me off again so my mom was telling the story to my cousins and she said it was in my uh, destiny fuck no it was not in your destiny to get your car stolen you put the keys in the car and that is why it was stolen but anyway guys hope you guys did enjoy the commentary i did record this live and uh, i was just uh, having loads of fun but it was a lot of fun i called out two choppers but the game skill is going to be cut short because i'm not going to upload all of it so thank you for watching i hope you did enjoy the video if you did feel free to like the video wait 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 yeah that's the one that's i just forgot this one major point don't fucking favorite the video if i get one favorite on a video i uh, Please don't favorite the video, just no, no, I don't care if you're on your phone, I don't care if you're watching this from Afghanistan, don't favorite the video, I'm serious, I'm not trolling you, I'm not doing this for reverse psychology, don't fucking favorite the video because I need likes more than favorites. If I get two favorites on a video, it does not help me one single bit. However, if I get two likes on a video, my video will spread around more. So like the goddamn video, please, please. Please do not favorite and please don't be trolled now. Don't start favoring the videos and don't give it any likes. Just just like the goddamn video. Not favorite, like. I don't care if you dislike because dislikes help as well. If you dislike, like. Just dislike and like. I wish there wasn't a favorite button on YouTube. I wish I could disable the favorite button, but you can't. So, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the commentary. My name is Vix. If you did enjoy the commentary, feel free to hit the like button. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope I see you all soon in my next video. And uh, peace.